Uh, I'm doing a little uh, power switch diagnostics here. Actually, this is the power switch. I took it out. And the switch actually does check out because, well, I'll explain to you what it works. You know, you got this is the um, auto down on this one. Actually, what's wrong with it is the auto down function just goes on. I jumped in the car and all of a sudden the window went down. I was like, what the hell? And I was playing, I was using electric mode of cleaner, clean up the switch. The switch works, but there's something wrong with the auto down function where it just goes down. So what I did was I turn ignition key on and uh, the way you look at these pins it's like 1 through 5 and then 6 through 10 and to make the up function work you have to go from 8 to 10 for power then 1 to 7 is uh, jumps it up there it is See? that's about right right there <laughs> so I'm leaving it alone and uh, that'll be my what you call it. So I'm gonna go order a switch for it. I'm gonna show you on a computer like about these pins and how to diagnose this switch. Um, the switch actually is okay except for the auto function. But I says, man, I replaced this with a used switch before. I'm gonna get a new one this time. Hehe. <laughs> so make sure the window's up in case it rains again. But all this dampness is fucking with all these switches in this car, man, big time. It just, <laughs> it's been raining so much in Florida, it's ridiculous. I was like, I think it's like Southeast Asia or something. Okay, so if I could explain this, actually on the book here, the power, let's see if that comes out all the way, if you can see that. The power, you're checking for continuity between terminals. This is all the power, like 10 to 2. And these, this is like labeled, you know, 1 through 5. And, you know, 6 through 10. And actually, when you're looking at the switch here, you notice there's uh, not a number 6. Let's see if I can get this in here. There's no 6. It goes from like 1 through 5. And you skip some block in there too, right? Because you got that clip that goes on there. But basically follow the diagram. It, six doesn't really exist. And I don't really have a I don't know. I don't know how this works with just in the actual well <laughs> I won't comment any further because I don't want to confuse you. It goes from one to five and then six to ten. But it's you know it's flipped around mirror wise when you're looking at it on the uh, what do you call it the uh, harness the wiring harness so you check for continuity between you know pins 10 that must be the power switch you know the power right here that's 10 right here so you check between 2 and 10 with ohm meter 3 and 2 I mean excuse me 10 and 2 10 and 3 10 and 4 10 and 7 10 and 8 9, 10, uh, 10 and 10, yeah, 10 and 11, 10 and 12. Now, this I noticed was backwards in this freaking manual. This actually should be 1 to 2 is up left, and 3 to 10 is the power. They fucking, they, they freaking even have a misprint in the, bow, in the manual. But 10 is feeding um, the power to these other pins. But then, it's not necessarily going from you know, 2 to something else. In other words, 8 to 10 is the power for driver up, and then 1 to 7. That's when you saw me make the window go up. I had it powered from 8 to 10. Then I used 1 to 7, and I touched. I had it with the wire in 1, and I touched into 7, and I made the window go up. Now, the switch itself is not actually screwed up it, in that respect. What's screwed up about the switch is the auto down function. But I'm going to give you a demonstration on how to check the switch with, uh, you know, an ohm meter to give you an idea of what the hell's going on. So, but you know, if you look at this, this is like the pins. You know, you can see, you know, to go down right on the right side, which is the the passenger side. You go one to the one to eleven, and you ha that's the actual switch. And then ten to twelve is the power. It's going through a circuit in there somewhere. And they'll have these all, 
Yeah, I've got pretty much. Just pretty much, you got to go from 10 is always continuous to 10, 10 is always continuous to 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12 all the time. And so, like, when you're looking at this, it's telling you, like, you know, here's 10 and 8, 10 and 11, 3 and 10 and 3, 10 and 9, 10 and 7, 10 and 12, 10 and 2, 10 and 4. That's continuous power. Then the actual switch function, the driver's up is 1 to 7. Um, drive, uh, right passenger up is 1 to 12. Um, the driver rear is 3 to t 3. That's backwards. 1 to 2. 1 to 2. Uh, passenger rear is 1 to 4. Then driver's down is 1 to 8. Uh, passenger down is on the front is 1 to 11. Um, driver down is 1 to 3. It's on the driver rear, excuse me, is 1 to 3. I, well, I meant to say add, add in rear. Then driver passenger, I mean, excuse me, driver passenger. Rear uh, passenger is 1 to 9. That actually makes the switch work. So I'll give you a demo on how that really works. Okay, so I got it to 1 and 7. So that's, if you look on here, there's 1 and that's 7. They're kind of like right next to each other adjacent. And that should be the off function, right? So here's my ohm meter. You see it's a infinite resistance. And then I'm going to hit this switch with the ohm meter, right? This switch right here. There you go. It's got continuity. The switch is actually working, but the auto down crap is screwed up from uh, probably just getting wet. I mean, just it didn't get really get wet. It's just been so damp. It's killing all the electronic stuff. <laughs> it's like freaking. So I got a new switch anyway. So anyway, that's so. In other words, it's how you would check it. In other words, if you went from. Uh, I don't know if you got down is one to eight. So let me shut this off a sec. All right, so I moved it down one pin. You can see one and eight. In other words, it's uh, there's one, and it's there's no six pin. It goes set. It's just the way they number seven and then eight. So it's down like that, right? The ones on the right hand side on the top on the corner. The ones on the bottom. So then I look at my, I go to press it, the down switch, which is this booger right here. See? All right now I release it. It's got infinite resistance. The switch actually works. It's a stupid auto down function. is all boogered up. Probably made it disconnected. I don't know. Anyway, that that'll, uh, that'll tell people actually what I showed you before with these pins. That'll tell you how to check your damn switch and also how to bypass this booger if this is the problem. You can't get your window up. Now I got my window up, so if it rains, well, actually, it's underneath the thing, but still, you know, with all the way the wind blows around here, <laughs> I freaking still get wet. So I don't know how to, I don't know why this thing broke, man. I just think it's so damn damp outside with all this rain. It's, it broke this thing, so. Got a new one coming, and I think Rock Auto's got them, so I'm going to get one from them, <laughs> probably. Brand new one.